Okay folks, welcome back once again to The Long Dark. We are picking up exactly where we left off at the end of the last video. We're here in Camp Office, which is very brightly lit and it actually gives you a really good chance to see the graphical detail in here and it is pretty cool. If you remember the game way back when, when it first came out, that this is just pretty awesome. The graphical quality is awesome. Brilliant. Okay, anyway, ignoring that, uh, we are back where we left off, and the first thing we're actually going to do in this video is do a bit of water production, because we are getting a bit low. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, first thing I'm going to do is just drink, just so I don't um, dehydrate when I'm doing it. And we're just going to eat a little bit as well. That'll do. Right. Uh, so, we need some firewood, we'll have a piece of fur, and a couple of sticks, and let's get this thing lit. Uh, fire striker, I'm going to use an actual tinder plug, and we'll use a piece of the cedar because we need a long fire. So yes, we're going to do some water production, and then we're hopefully we're going to go a hunting deer again. Uh, I am trying to get hold of the deer rather than more wolves, if ultimately... I come across wolves, I'll go for wolves. I don't mind. I think what I might do next is head round to the hunting stand by Alan's Cave. Um, that might be a might be a thought. Uh, the last time I did that, it wasn't brilliant, to be honest. Uh, because nothing was there, nothing came past. So. Right, so that's got that lit. So let's do, uh, let's bung another one on there. So that gives me a two hour fire. In fact, let's bung another one on that. gives me a three hour fire. And let's do two litres. I'll try and produce as much water as I can in the time I've got. I think I'm going to be able to do about six litres. So what do you, we'll do, can I do another four, just four litres? As long as that leaves me with about an hour and a half, we should be alright. Oops, a little bit less. Oops, okay. Just need to bung a bit more fuel on the fire there. We'll just chuck a couple of sticks on. That'll do it, I hope. And we'll just boil. We've actually got, f uh, so I've actually got six liters of water. Let's just try and boil it all, if we can. There we go. And have we got anything we can? No, we haven't got. We've got some wolf meat we can cook. So we might as well. We'll just do a couple of pieces of this. I think we've got time to do a couple of pieces. And I'll show you the uh, the intestinal parasite risk. You watch me getting bloody infected off the first piece that I eat, just to demonstrate this. Okay, we're heading into the dark. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> it ran out. Never mind. Okay, well, let's go ahead and eat it. And that gives us 770 calories, so it's actually slightly better. But we are now at risk for intestinal parasites. Having eaten that, we'll drop the raw stuff back in here. Because that didn't quite do what we wanted it to do. So if we now go to the health menu, we are 1% at risk. So getting meat from carnivorous animals may be infected with parasites. So avoid eating more meat from carnivores. So the best way to treat ourselves is don't eat more meat from carnivores. Um, and it will clear. So don't eat any more meat from carnivores until that's cleared. Then you can again, and you'll get that risk again. Obviously you can, and it will increase that risk. But obviously... If you do then happen to get intestinal parasites, it will uh, cause you a major condition hit. So, it's up to you whether you want to take the risk and balance it. We don't need to. We've got plenty of uh, deer meat, so we haven't got to worry about it. Um, if you're really desperate, obviously, it's your only option. So, it's a bit like in uh, Minecraft with rotten flesh. If you're really stuck, you haven't got much choice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sleep. We'll sleep for eight hours. And hopefully then we can just pass time and sleep just to get ourselves through to the morning. And we shall go and do a bit more hunting. Uh, we woke up fully rested. Let's put some in. Come on again. I'm just going to drink. And we'll just eat a little bit more just to stop us from starving while we do. We've got four hours left. So if I do a three hour time pass... Oops, three hour time pass. And then we'll do a three hour sleep or a four hour sleep because that hopefully takes us past a really cold point at the beginning of the day. It's always the coldest first thing in the morning. So 
if we do like a four hour sleep here that'll take us through slightly more into the day and it will hopefully have warmed up a bit that didn't really work though because uh, obviously we've woke up fully rested how much water are you carrying we need to be carrying all of that oops whoops get rid of a minute all right needs to drop uh probably again four liters let's drop that and pop it up yeah, so we're doing all right at the moment for water now. Oops, you're going to have to excuse me for a moment. Okay, folks, sorry about that. I uh, got a phone call there and I had to disappear. And in case you uh, you haven't noticed, I'm wearing completely different clothes. And it is actually three days later. Yeah, unfortunately, I got a phone call and I had to disappear. And by the time that was all dealt with, uh, I hadn't got any time left to finish off what we had started. So we are... Um, kind of picking up three days later to finish the rest of the video so sorry about that folks the reason I didn't cut it and start again is that I didn't obviously that would then mean we had a six minute gap in our long dark adventure and I didn't want to do that so we are going to aggregate the two together the only downside of course with it being three days later is that I can't for the life of me remember where we were and as per usual I have totally forgotten to rewatch the video to find out so I think what we're going to do is head back out to hunting again we've done some water production and we're well fed we've got our rifle we've got some wolf pelts downstairs and a curing i don't know how much daylight we've got left no idea because it's all looking rather nasty out there let's just go ahead and drink and eat before we carry any further um and then hopefully we can have two of those i think i'm going to eat them both so that will really bring our calorie level up really really help us out quite a lot there we go perfect okay well we don't know how many hours of daylight we have left but what we will do we're going to stick our head outside the door and see what it actually looks like because sometimes when that happens it isn't actually as bad as you think well oh, that one's nearly cured and they're not doing too bad either obviously that one already is i think we only need two uh deer hides to make the uh, the wolf skin boots at uh, the deer skin boots so hopefully we can go ahead and do the uh, deer skin boots uh, pretty much as soon as we get back from this a little escapade or maybe one evening um yes I don't think we're going anywhere at the moment that's not looking very good at all okay yeah this is the kind of weather conditions you really don't want to travel in for two reasons one you can't see where you're going so you will get lost and two it is quite cold actually it's not as cold as I have known it to be in these conditions but that could be because I'm standing close to the building so if we just move away from the building a bit Minus 14 is actually not that bad, but uh, yeah, you can't see where you're going, so we can't go anywhere. So let's head back inside. These, unfortunately, are the downsides of the long dark, is that well, you you get this happen, and there isn't anything you can do, really, until it clears. So we've passed time for two hours. Let's just stick our head back outside the door again and see what it now looks like and it's just as bad as it was so yeah okay I think we're, we might be here for a little while it is one of the downsides you will end up with this happening and it's even worse when you're actually uh, making videos because ultimately I've got to keep myself occupied excuse me so I'm uh, not getting everybody bored playing cards there there we are so we now are I'm just gonna go ahead and drink I don't know why but I always get a very itchy nose whenever I'm recording it's very annoying doesn't happen the rest of the time that's better well, what's temperature minus five yeah, that's even better it's not even cold right okay so I think what I was thinking of doing was heading over to the hunting stand, wasn't I? That's kind of what I was thinking. So let's head this way. If we see anything useful, we'll pick it up as we go. So cattail stalks we definitely want. We can eat those and we also get tinder, obviously. Now, I still haven't figured out whether the cattails grow back if you harvest them all, whether they ever grow back. I, that's something I, I keep meaning to check. In, on the forums to see if there's any mention of it uh, or ask the devs and I, I always forget to do it so I'll try and remember to look up the properties of the cattail whether they actually grow back if you harvest them all 
looking very very clear no uh, wildlife around at the moment obviously we're after the we're after deer really wolf wolf uh, pelts will be good if we can take a couple of wolves down that will be good but what I'm really after is deer so I can make the deer skin trousers um, although obviously the wolf skin coat is good as well so it doesn't really matter I'm primarily going after deer but if I wind up with a wolf I'm really not bothered I'm good with that. And I think we may end up overnighting at the, the hunting shelter or in Alan's cave. We'll see how we how that pans out. Uh -huh. So okay, in the last three days, well in the last three days I've actually been to York. I've been on a little holiday. I and mean, a girlfriend went up to York, been there for a, a couple of days. We're back down back today. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, this slightly aggregated video has been interrupted by a trip to York. Very nice, relaxing trip. No shopping involved, just a nice little sightseeing trip. Because, of course, today's date... Okay, I'm hoping that you don't see that message that tells me I need to restart my PC for updates. Um, I'm hoping that goes away and doesn't try to restart the machine now. Are you going to go away, message? Okay, I'm hoping that that message isn't visible on the recording, but I've got a message at the bottom corner from the wonderful Microsoft Windows telling me that I need to restart. It's gone away again now. Oh, oh, wolf, 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 wolf. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Over there somewhere. Is that him? Yes, there he is. Okay, let's get behind this tree. And I'm hoping I can use the tree. He's going to get me. He's going to get me. We're fighting. Get off! Get off, yeah, wolf! Get off! Oh well, I was slightly concerned there when it went dark. I was thinking, oh god, don't kill me. That would that would suck. Okay, let's just see what afflictions we have. We have a sprayed ankle. We have risk. Oh, ignore that one. Right. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I've got two sprayed ankles. Now that actually really annoys me because if you were, this is one for the devs, if you were in that situation for real and you took painkillers to help with one condition, it would solve both conditions. I'm just trying to do that. Shall I track this wolf? Um, I don't know. I might actually, do you know what, I might carry on, head to the hunting stand and do all that good stuff. And then I might sort of swing back where that wolf may have gone on the way back because it's possible that if he does die, he will still be there when we come back. It's just going to be a little harder to find him. Okay, I'm going to pick up plenty of sticks. It's quite warm, so I'm going to go ahead and break this down. I have to apologise for my sniffling. Um, buddy! I am almost at the point where I'm willing to start catching rabbits again, but I'm not quite there. Okay, so... I've always been a bit reluctant, to be honest, but it is only a game, after all. Right, so let's go this way. Obviously, we're limping a little bit, which is why we're not running smoothly. And I don't think I can sprint. I'm pretty sure I can't... No, I can't sprint when I have a sprained ankle. I need four hours of rest to fix that sprained ankle. So we are moving more slowly than we normally do. Ah, no. I was kind of wondering whether the, the tracking would be different on the ground, the graphics for the tracks, because we're probably dragging our feet slightly, but... Alas, no. Okay, any nasties here? No, we're all looking good. Okay, let's see if we can get the old man's beard. So that will come in handy, if needed. Always want to try and harvest that if it's right next to where you are. Okay, we have this deer... I don't know if there's any meat left on this, or if I've already harvested it, or whether there's nothing on it worth... Well, there is, actually. Well, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll take that, and we'll take the hide. And... How much... An hour and 13? Now, let's go ahead and harvest it. Oh, my goodness, we might get hypothermia here. I wasn't paying enough attention. Nope, we're okay. Ooh. It's red, it's red. That is the sunset, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Right, what's the temperature? Minus 11. Okay. What I'm going to do then, let's get inside here. Let's duck down. 
and let's now I did this last time let's light a fire what what are you doing no I want to light a fire you stupid thing right I want to light the fire as close as I can to the hunting stand yes that's the plan uh, right so fire striker tinder plug we'll use the cedar let's go let's get this fire lit Obviously, we're in potential slight peril here because we are losing condition because of the cold. We need to get this fire lit. And then I believe we should be okay up on the hunting stand. I'm going to chuck quite a reasonable amount of firewood onto this fire. There we go. Okay, so that's going to add pretty much everything I'm carrying. That gives me four and a half hours. And I'm going to... Oh, I've got some venom. Oh, of course, the stuff I just harvested. Ha 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 Okay, risk of intestinal parasites has passed. So we can eat more wolf meat now if we want to. So I haven't got any here, so... Okay, so we are warming up. We're no longer at risk of hypothermia. We might as well melt some snow while we're down here. Take advantage of having the fire. And just melt and boil some snow. Okay, so our condition is now stabilised. You'll notice it's not dropping any lower. But obviously it won't go back up until we sleep it off. So in theory, up here, the temperature should be nice and warm. So let us lay down our sleeping bag. Jump in, and I need to be careful. I'm just going to sleep for two hours. And the reason I'm doing that is that obviously if the fire goes out, the temperature is going to drop. And I don't want to freeze to death in the middle of the night, so I just need to bear that one in mind. Okay, temperature-wise, we are still okay. We need to eat and drink. And I'm contemplating going and sticking some sticks on the fire. Because I'm not sure what the temperature will be without that. In fact, is there a, there's a crate in here, isn't there? Let's have that for... Have that for... Uh, firewood. Oh, please... Let me get this relit. Yes. There we go. That gives us an hour's worth of fire. And we can break down this bench. This hasn't gone as smoothly as I hoped. Let's, let's be honest. Oh, look. Floating things. <laughs> Graphical glitches. Yeah, God, I love them. Right. Don't stand in the fire, for goodness sake, don't do that. I've died doing that before now. Okay, that gives us another three hours on the fire. And the temperature in here now is 28 degrees, so let's sleep for two more hours. That should then cure our damaged ankle. Okay, now the only bit of bad news, of course, is that we haven't got enough firewood to keep us going through the rest of the night but there are some limbs and things around here I can go and break down and get some more wood so I think that's what I'm gonna go and do keeping my eyes open just in case there's anything around I don't think there is but let's just get ourselves oh I'm cold oh I'm cold oh my goodness I don't know what the temperature is feels like minus 30 where's the hunting stand Oh god, it's gone out. Oh dear. Uh, right, okay, that's not good. That's not at all good. Oh, and it won't let me put it there. Can I put it there? Please, 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 we need to get this thing lit. <laughs> well, this hasn't gone as smoothly as I'd hoped, let's put it that way. It really hasn't. I didn't anticipate getting jumped by a wolf. When I decided to come out here to the hunting stand. I always knew it was going to be cold and I'd always planned to do this, but... In hindsight, maybe I should have gone over to Alan's cave rather than to the hunting stand. 
in theory, should have been a bit. Add fuel, add fuel. Okay, let's just get ourselves warmed up. I'm just going to stay down by the fire for a second rather than go back up onto the stand. And let's just get ourselves out of this hypothermia risk because I'm going to need to go and get some more firewood. I want to try and ideally have a fire that will get through the whole of the night. So I just need to get out of this hypothermia risk, which is at the moment 26%. So let's just get out of this hypothermia risk. We are warming up. But it only feels like to... Let's, okay, let's get back on the hunting stand to be a bit warmer up there. Okay, what's it feel like now? Feels like warm. Excellent, it's gone colder. Right. Let's get the bed roll and we'll sleep for two hours. And hopefully that will warm us up. Because it should... Uh, the, warm, the, the bed roll gives us a warmth bonus. Hopefully that will warm us up. Please? Oh my goodness me. Okay, I have to, let's sit right by the fire then. Oh, and it still feels like minus five. Okay, I'm gonna have to chuck some more. Let's chuck some more fuel on that, give us some more heat out of it. Feels like naught. Okay. Yeah, if I go over and harvest the branch at the moment, I am gonna get hypothermia, so. Let's just chuck that on there. That chuck out enough heat for the temperature to get above zero. So I think I then just need to sit tight next to the fire for a little bit. So let's do that. Um, yeah, so in the last three days then, since I filmed the first bit of this video, um, the update for the test track, as I keep calling it in a throwback to Portal, um, the, the, the throwback to the test um, build has uh, been released. Um, I haven't seen it, I'm not playing the test um, route, I'm not playing that, I've got that all switched off. Um, but I do believe it includes some changes to the clothing system which will be introduced in the next main update. Um, which I think will be kind of cool, I don't know exactly what those changes are, I haven't read, but I think that will be interesting. Um, and I'm not sure what else is planned for the next update really, I'm kind of, I need to catch up with it and read it. I don't think much has really been said. We know. There's quite a lot of things which were up and coming that were listed, including new animals and uh, a few other bits and pieces, but obviously at the moment we've not had any of that. We're still kind of waiting on it. But um, yeah, hopefully there'll be an update before the end of December to the main game route. Um, that's what I'm kind of hoping for anyway, a relatively new recent update. To the game, and uh, we're still waiting on story mode, of course, as well with the Landar. We don't know when that's coming, so just in case of waiting for story mode as well. Plenty of things happening with the Landar. Still developing really, really nicely. Lots of nice graphical changes and things as well. The night sky looks really, really nice in the Landar now. It's much more dynamic than it used to be. I don't come out at night very often, but. It looks cool. Right, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and eat and drink. That's not going to give me very much, but we'll have it. That might also help with the warmth. I haven't got anything that I can cook and eat hot, which is a bit of a downside. So I perhaps need to start carrying some coffee or tea around with me so I can... I always have that option. I do have an emergency stim, so if all else failed... That really is the last resort, but it'll help us. Okay, we're still at hypothermia risk. Well, apparently I don't have any affliction, so we're not at hypothermia risk. But we are cold, so if I go and try and harvest anything by the time it's going to take me to do it, I will die. I've got two hours left. I don't want to put the bedroll down here, because obviously I am at risk of being attacked by animals and what things. So, I just need to be a bit careful. Yeah, we are officially at daybreak. Although it's still pretty dark. The wind is coming from that direction, so I'm quite well sheltered as it is at the moment. Should I be concerned that that rabbit is running away? I don't know. I'm staying here. It's pretty... Okay, we're now feeling like minus two. This is not a good situation at the moment. It really isn't. I think what I need to do is make a bolt. So I'm going to pick up 
the bedroll, I am, think I'm going to make a bolt into Alan's cave where I'm hoping it's... Oh no, we're, we're okay, temperature's come back again. Oh no, minus two there, but four there. Okay, <laughs> right. That makes a lot of sense. I'll stand there then. But I have the better on our bolt for Alan's cave, which is directly over there. Which, in hindsight, I probably should have gone to in the first place, because it'll be a bit warmer in there, but... I didn't think of doing that. I thought I'd be okay on the hunting stand. We've got the ominous music playing, which always makes me nervous. The sun is coming up. The sky is changing colour. We are really quite cold. We have come out of this with another uh, deer hide, though, of course, that we've picked up from the uh, from that one that was that was dead. So that's quite useful. That is actually a good way of getting deer hides and things like that, because you will find dead deer around the place, and it's a good way of getting deer hides just to harvest the dead deer. I mean, it saves you having to hunt them. I think the problem is if I bolt for Alan's cave, I'm going to have to light another fire and I don't have the materials to do it. This is really quite a tricky one. Can I, can I just pass time for an hour? Just to speed things along a bit. That's better. Can I pass time for another hour? I'm just going to do it in hour-long bursts. No, 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 no. Cancel. We've gone cold. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my goodness. This isn't good. Right, let's go. Let's go. This isn't good at all. Let's let's get out of here. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, I know. Oh, this isn't not good. Oh, we're in Alan's cave. I've accidentally run into Alan's cave. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Okay, we're at risk of. Oh no! And I haven't got. Anything. I forgot anything to light a fire with. No. Oh. I didn't mean to go into Alan's cave there. Okay, that's... Oh, no, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Okay, we're going to have to make a bolt for it. I think we could end up with hypothermia at the end of this. Oh, no. And this is why when you venture out, you should always go prepared. Because you never know what the weather is going to do to you. And as it turns out, it's minus 48 degrees. <laughs> Which is absolutely ludicrous. It's blowing a blizzard. We can't see a thing. We have no fuel. We are a long way from home. We're running into a headwind. So we're not moving very fast. I keep pressing the wrong button for sprint, which doesn't help. I don't know if we've actually got hypothermia yet. It hasn't popped up to tell me that we have, but we can't be far off. We really can't be far away. We're almost back to camp office, but I'm not convinced we're going to get there without picking up hypothermia. We're almost, almost back to... Generally speaking, this has been a bit of a disaster. I mean, we've come back with another deer hide, I suppose, which is a... which is a bonus, but all in all... I'm still not convinced we're actually going to make it back. We got jumped by a wolf, which has knocked our condition right down. We've got caught out by really cold temperatures. We've run out of firewood. I probably didn't manage that very well by going to the stand instead of going to Alan's cave. That probably would have turned out better if I'd gone to Alan's cave, but... You learn from these mistakes. I thought I could get away with it on the hunting stand, because I've done it before, but apparently not. Okay, well we are... Well, there it is, we can see it. Conditions at 53%, we're hungry, we're freezing. Our hypothermia risk is ridiculously high. We have no fuel. We have made it back to camp office, though. We are here. Oh, 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 oh that was all very close. I don't know if... I don't know if I've got actually got hypothermia. No, we only have a 26% risk, but we haven't actually got it, so we can still rescue this. 
Because we are okay now. It's above freezing. We need to warm ourselves up very, very quickly, though. So let's... Let's do that. Have I got... Um, I must have... Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pick up a couple of tins of plugs because I have used a few out there. Uh, we'll go with Fire Striker, Cattail Head, Seed of Firewood. Let's get this fire lit and salvage what was rapidly turning into an unsalvageable situation there. I really made a bit of a mess of that, to be fair. That all went a bit wrong. I think the mistakes that we made there was I didn't set out with enough fuel. I tried to shelter on the hunting stand rather than going to Alan's cave. Um... And ultimately that's the situation that we were ended up in. Because I couldn't go and harvest more fuel at the point that I was. Because I would have died. Okay, we need to get... Uh, add fuel, add fuel, add fuel, add fuel. And I need to cook... These two. We're warming up nicely. And I'm going to drink... I'm going to eat these two hot... Which obviously will also help. Helps with our calorie intake, helps with our water intake, and gives us a warmth bonus. I'm going to do them both. I don't know whether you get a double warmth bonus for doing that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? Fire's already burning. And then we'll make advantage of the rest of this fire to uh, make some water. Because you never want to waste an opportunity to make water. Ever. Weather's really not very nice out there, is it? We're very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Let's just finish off making some water. We've pretty much reached the end of this video, sort of looking at the timings and the aggregation of the two. We're slightly over length, but that's absolutely fine we're not worried too much about that so we shall have a quick fill of the journal reflect on what's gone wrong and then we'll come back in the next one and hopefully we won't muck it up um right so let's go into the journal what has happened uh well this is slightly awkward because obviously we've got two um dates on this one but i'm going to put the 19th of December, and yes, I did have to look what date it was. Um, okay, so what has happened? Uh, we took down two wolves. Now, I can't remember whether we did that in this one or the other one. Uh, curing, whoops. Curing wolf pelts. Now, I might be wrong, actually. We may have done that in the previous video, but never mind. My memory's a bit fuzzy. Uh, set out to hunt deer got jumped by a wolf nearly froze whoops I can't even spell froze to death just about made it home <laughs> and that is uh, pretty much sums it up really okay so today we did, didn't quite go to plan we set out to um, to go and hunt some deer and to be fair we've come back with another deer hide so I can't argue too much um, but I basically didn't expect to get jumped by a wolf, which of course you never do. I didn't have enough fuel with me ultimately for the fire I had to make because of how cold it was. And I also completely forgot about Alan's cave. I should have gone in there and not tried to overnight on the hunting stand where it's more exposed. So I made some mistakes there, but hopefully we'll get away with it. Um, so I am going to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, this video has been a bit strange because it's been split into two parts, but thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again very, very soon for the next one.